good evening to all the beautiful people around the world last time when we had the superstar of sri lanka angela matthews at the show at the beginning of the asia cup we had expecting sri lanka to do well but i'm afraid the result did not go well uh we have angie back with us to discuss what happened in that match and what they should do in the match against bangladesh welcome angie thank you anish thank you for having me a pleasure is all ours angelo we you know thought that sri lanka is going to play the brand of cricket we know they are up to but i'm afraid uh, afghanistan just blew them away yeah absolutely we knew the threat against uh, you know afghanistan and um, it was all in all a disappointing performance by the entire team i know they are hurting i know everyone's hurting the fans even us everyone um you know just just watching uh that performance um uh was was disheartening but uh there's another game tomorrow and you know that's you got to put that aside because you know once in a while you you come up with a performance like that uh unfortunate performance like that but you got to in a in a tournament like this you got to reshuffle and reshuffle quickly and uh you know you got to put put it, you know wash it away and then take the positives and learn from it and obviously play well against uh, bangladesh easier said than done anji like you said that you know you got to wash aside or put aside this defeat but as a player you know you have experience sometimes when you have that bad game easy to switch it off and say yeah let me focus on today's game definitely not i mean you you feel hurt and that can stay there for a while i know it's it's easier said than done obviously as you said but you know when you when you put up a performance like that it will hurt you for some time and um, but again as a player you need to i mean when you switch formats as well you got to adapt as soon as possible i mean oils you are behind the eight ball so uh, you got to sort of adapt you know that you haven't done well um and take responsibility and go out there and just not lose confidence because it can dent your confidence a little bit uh the performance that we had against afghanistan i mean not taking anything away from afghanistan they played extremely well they are a very uh, experienced unit when it comes to playing all around the world most of them are playing um uh, in international leagues and that has given them that experience to uh bring in and you know uh play cricket like that which we did um against bangladesh as well yesterday so they are a very uh, uh fiery force and uh, you can't take um, them lightly at all so angelo we saw that it was the fast bowler fazal farooqi who rattled the sri lankans the left arm and they have mustafizur rahman in bangladesh so you think a worry for, like how indians have a problem with the incoming ball i think not only the indians i mean almost every team has you know got problems against the new ball coming back in especially to the left armers and uh, that has always been a case and um, so you got to try and find a way to play with the swing and also the bowlers nowadays are very sharp in terms of thinking and execution so you got to understand so that's why we before a game we study about the opponent we study about their variations and stuff like that so you know exactly with a new ball this guy bowls this and he can also bowl uh you know cutters and you know slower balls as well so you got to uh expect it as well not be surprised at the time so um i'm sure they've you know watched the videos of the bangladesh is obviously we played a lot against the bangladesh team but you know in these conditions what could the bowler do and uh, what will be the variations again they're playing in dubai and uh, the uh, the dubai wicket seems like it had a little bit of grass um so the ball nips around a little bit so you have to you might have to change your strategy is a little bit i mean it's not like a wicket where you can go after the ball, you know bowling from ball one 
So you got to try, you got to assess the conditions, assess the wicket a little bit, give yourself a bit of time uh, to get going. And obviously you can't just, you know, hang around there without scoring runs, but obviously you have to give yourself a chance to know what the wicket is going to do. And then you can obviously take them on. Angela Matthews has hit the nail. You've got to give yourself a chance, a little bit of time. And we saw that in that first three overs, Sri Lanka were five for three and it was difficult to come back. Anyway, let's come to tomorrow's game. Bangladesh, they have lost to Afghanistan. Sri Lanka has lost to Afghanistan. And you have to say both were clinical wins by Afghanistan. So it's just a shootout between both the teams? Yeah, absolutely. Afghanistan, as I said, they were very clinical with their performances. And they showed a lot of maturity experience um, on the field. And yeah, it's a, it's a do or die game for both teams. And uh, you just got to play your best cricket um, tomorrow on the day and do uh, less mistakes because obviously we will do mistakes and uh, everybody, you know, tend to do mistakes. But the team, will, uh, the team who does less mistakes tomorrow will obviously win. But I think once again, uh, losing three wickets in the power play was not on because uh, once you lose three wickets, then... I get the idea. I mean, you got to go hard in the first six overs. But um, as I said before, the conditions might not suit uh, going hard from ball one. So you got to give yourself a chance. Maybe use the pace a little bit. Play good cricket shots. And obviously, you can take them on. But without, I mean, if, if we can keep to one wicket falling, maybe at best two wickets in the first six overs, then I think we can capitalize in the middle. But it puts a lot of pressure on the batters uh, if you lose a, lose two, two or three wickets in the power play. We have seen the Sri Lankan squad. They have enough far power at the back end in <laughs> Tamika Karunatne. Uh, we have uh, the skipper, then Bhanu Karaja Paksha. So it's not that they need to go that gungo cricket in the first six overs. You get 40 in six overs for a wicket. I think you can always recover for 171, 60 plus if you have wickets in hand. Absolutely. We've got the firepower, as you said, but they, they came in too early in the last game. Uh, if, if they had come up maybe around the 14th, 15th over, they can go from ball one. And, and, and I'm sure the, plat, the platform has been set if we had batted well uh, in the first six and also in the middle overs. So, which they, which the batters couldn't do, obviously. But hoping they will do tomorrow. Obviously, we have our own brand of cricket and we shouldn't... I mean, as I always say, we should play our own brand of cricket. And we, we have that smart thinking players in our team where you can obviously hit the gaps, run hard, and you don't have to muscle the ball all the time. So you just get that 160 plus on the board and then you're giving your bowlers a chance to, to win the game. So you got to be smart. You got to uh, play smart cricket. Not that you got to just hang around there about the 20 overs. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you understand your strengths, understand what you, what you are capable of and you don't have to be anyone else. You just... Uh, go out there and do what what you do best. Like in both the matches which Afghanistan won against Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, you saw that the top order just collapsed. Whereas when Bangladesh, Afghanistan was chasing on a difficult wicket, they had this boy by the name of Zadran. You know, uh, I'm talking about Ibrahim Zadran, who's who's been the anchor around whom the other Zadran went hard. So they did not lose that wicket. So that's a good ploy, I believe. If it works, it comes off. Yeah, I mean, each team have their own brand of cricket. I mean, they've come up with a plan, a clear plan. And they, they've been given clear roles and, and you can see that on the field. So uh, if sometimes it doesn't happen, maybe another better will take the anchor role and the other one will take the bowlers on. So that's, that's how you uh, plan going forward in a game. Uh, because always you cannot expect somebody uh, to do a certain role. So you've got to adjust. You got to uh, assess the conditions. So you got to be on your toes thinking all the time because you haven't got enough time to sort of sit back, relax and think of what you want to do. 
so you got to make those decisions in in seconds so uh, uh, yes i mean ibrahim and um, the uh, others are done both batted extremely well i mean it's so pleasing to the eye to see them back like that i mean they're playing good cricket shots they are not just slogging um and uh, it, it looks like afghanistan are going to be a very dangerous team in this asia cup you know they can upset any team and um, and i'm sure they'll give a good run for the the uh, you know uh, uh, like other teams as well like the big big guns so um uh, yes as i said i'm sure we have a clear plan it's just that we couldn't execute uh, in the last game it's a you know execution we can have uh, four or five plans for a game but if you don't execute on the field everything will look like you know we didn't have any plans but i'm sure we have plans um i'm sure that uh, we are still planning for the bangladesh team and uh, hopefully the guys can execute on the field you see any changes coming up tomorrow or you stick to the same squad see it's a uh, it's a bit of a toughy uh, in my opinion maybe dananjay de silva can come into the team in the middle order uh, he gives that stability um and i would like to have that left hand right hand opening combination but i can understand why the two right handers are uh opening at the top because patum has been scoring runs in in t20s over the past several months and kusal mendes is is lethal up there so i can understand the thinking um i personally would like to have the left hand right hand combination and and also i i i would like to uh, see dananjay de silva coming in and maybe asit fernando as well uh, uh from a fast bowling uh, point of view so if you want to get uh, dananjay that would be at the cost of chamika no no i think chamika gives you a different um uh dimension in the game so he's he's an all he's an all rounder so one of the batters uh, so the openers up, probably either patun kusal charita one of them yeah so kusal i think kusal has to play um so it's a really tough, tough call. call i mean really tough call because all of them are in good shape and patum has been scoring a lot of runs but it's just that um danushka batting in the middle order which is i think he's been an opener right throughout it's it's not that i mean we we as batters have to um sort of have an open mind especially when it comes to t20 cricket whether wherever you bat you should be able to adjust and adapt um but it's just that i like to see danushka batting in the top order so that you know it gives that right hand left hand combination up at the top so it's a really tough one i mean i i'll be thinking really hard and if i still think okay then i'll i'll probably might go with the same team uh so it's it's a very tough call it depends on the conditions it depends on the opportunity you know opposition uh as well to make that call right tough call just with one game you just can't ask a player to sit out but it's a do and die game we'll have to wait and watch we wish sri lanka the very best for this match and we hope they come out trumps against bangladesh now coming to india pakistan match uh, we saw virat kohli's come back even when i say come back after a 40 days break where he said he did not touch the bat did you watch the innings absolutely um you know what a champion he is the the attitude that he brings to the field um is unbelievable isn't it i mean you know he always wants it he always wants that challenge uh he likes to obviously score on the big stage and which he did i mean you know the start that he got um i thought he would you know carry on uh for a few more overs but uh that innings that he played he showed that he's got back his touch he scored some uh, uh wonderful shots Uh, along the ground and uh, over as well and we are seeing a bit of 
the old Virat um, um, once again. But he was, wasn't he a little bit anxious to feel the ball where he nicked it and all was, could have been caught for naught? It happens. I mean, obviously, it happens um, to anyone. You know, you need that bit of rubber the green as well. You know, you can't always have luck going the other way. Uh, so you will, you will get that, you know, you know, chance on and off. And he made it count. I mean, he got that start, um, and he played some wonderful shots. And I'm sure that will give him a lot of confidence going into the next game. And uh... If you had to sum up India-Pakistan match, where do you think Pakistan lost it? I thought they they could have got a little bit more runs. Uh, it was it was good bowling once again uh, by the Indians, and also see um, you can't really pinpoint uh, where it went wrong. It's just that you know um, uh, they had uh, both the teams had. You know, played really good cricket, and 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 they had their chances to win. And uh, it's just that on the day, yeah, India came out best. Um, you know, it went down to the wire once again, and uh, we all expected that. You know, if they play again tomorrow, we don't know who will win. You know, it's that that kind of a contest. So um, uh, yeah, both teams had their chances, but you know, I thought India um, with Jadeja and Hardik. Playing those two innings was crucial for India. India's win. Jadeja and Hardik were crucial for India's win. Uh, that's all we have for today, my friends. Uh, and we will have Ajanta, rather Angelo Matthews soon to understand what is going to happen. Rather, we hope Sri Lanka goes into the next round so we can discuss more on Sri Lanka's uh, prospect in the future. Thank you, Angelo Matthews. We catch you up soon. Thanks, Anish.